Solaris, the sun god of Soliana and a god of time. Solaris is a superdimensional being who is actually a living flame. This flame is the very origin of Mephilus the Dark and the Flames of Disaster, Iblis. While we know the origins of Mephilus and Iblis, we do not know about the origins of Solaris. Where did it come from? Why do the people of Soliana worship it? What was its purpose? And does it even have an origin? Just as a flower comes from a seed, or a chicken comes from an egg, everything has an origin. Well, it's just like Mephilus said. Today, I intend to find out what that origin is. Let's start with the information that we know about in Sonic 06. In the game, we learned that Solaris was a living flame that was dubbed as the Flame of Hope. It was said that once Solaris' flames grew powerful enough, it would allow people to travel through time and avoid sad fates. However, there was also a legend about it. The legend goes that Solaris' rage would destroy the world. This legend was known to the people of Soliana as the Flames of Disaster. Prior to the start of the game, Solaris was safeguarded by the Soliana royal family. Until, one day, the recent Duke of Soliana tried to harness its power for time travel. This caused Solaris to split into Mephilus and Iblis, and then, 10 years later, re-emerge into Solaris. However, this was not the true Solaris, as the true Solaris was still a living flame. At least, the current Princess of Soliana chose to extinguish Solaris, thus causing the events of Sonic 06 to never occur. Now that we know all that, I'll begin by bringing up some very interesting lines said by the Duke of Soliana. The Duke of Soliana says this bit of dialogue twice. The living flame has been entrusted to the royal family. Or, in the Japanese version, the living flame that has been handed down to the royal family. Either way, this means that at some point, Solaris was given to the Soliana royal family by someone or something. Who is that someone? Well, before I get to that, let me talk about a certain something that pops up in the game frequently. I'm sure a lot of people have noticed that Soliana seems to be a country that's obsessed with birds. And not just any birds, but the eagle. In the game, eagles are used to transport Sonic, Shadow, and Silver to different areas of Kingdom Valley. Now, while this may not seem like a big deal, there is other stuff related to the eagle. In Kingdom Valley, there are devices called the Wind Switch. The wind switch is a device that allows the player to summon a grind rail made of jet streams. Obviously, you'll notice at first sight that this device has the statue of an eagle on the top of it. What's more interesting is that there is a similar looking device in the final level called End of the World. This device is called the Orb Statue. It allows the player to temporarily remove the eyes of Solaris. The description for it reads as following. It has the ability to stabilize the fabric of reality by reducing Solaris's ability to alter it. You also see the symbol of the eagle on things like the Soliana coins and other places. Lastly, Solaris itself has the head of an eagle in its first form, which is interesting because eagles in mythology can be considered as symbols of the sun at least in certain cultures such as Native American and Aztec. So we know that the people of Soliana greatly respect and worship eagles, as they are the national symbol of Soliana. However, this brings up a certain question. Why is the eagle the national symbol of Soliana when it should be a flame like Solaris? Well, the answer for that lies in the level called Dusty Desert. In the level, 
you'll notice that there's a certain figure that constantly pops up all over the place. This figure is a four-legged eagle. This creature has over several statues all over the place, both outside and inside of the level. Not only that, but the stage also contains hundreds of stone carvings depicting people worshipping this eagle. And you'll notice that the sun is above the eagle's head, just like the symbol of Soliana. This leads me to believe that this four-legged eagle was the basis for Soliana's symbol and could be Soliana's original god. I also believe that this creature might have given Solaris to a singular person or a group of people who would later become the royal family. While the identity of said individuals have no name, their presence can be seen all throughout Dusty Desert. Similar to the four-legged eagle, several statues of a robed figure with an eagle hoodie can be seen throughout the stage. This potential group seemed to have been a cult of sorts who worshipped the eagle creature prior to the rest of Soliana. Proof of this is seen in the stone carving. In the carving, you can see this robed figure on the far right side. You can also see that this figure is the only one not worshipping the eagle, but instead it seems like as if this person introduced the people of Soliana to it, as you can see their arms are outstretched in a welcoming manner. Possible proof of their possession of Solaris comes in the form of a small pillar-like object seen in the cutscene when Shadow confronts Mephilus for their final showdown. In the cutscene, you see Mephilus briefly floating above this small pillar. Considering how important this area looks, this makes me think that this was the chamber where Solaris was safeguarded before it was moved to Soliana Castle in Kingdom Valley. Lastly, the reason I believe that these unknown figures might have later become the royal family is because of the fact that only members of the royal family are able to become sealing vessels for Iblis. If I'm right about these individuals being the previous guardians of Solaris, then they too would have the ability to act as vessels for Iblis, later passing it down to their descendants. Not only that, but because they guarded Solaris for so long, it would explain why Solaris became recognized by the people of Soliana as their god, if it wasn't already when it was first entrusted, while the four-legged eagle was slowly forgotten. As I was playing the game for research for my theory, one of the very odd things I thought about was Solaris' forms. Why does it have the head of an eagle in its first form, and then its second form takes the form similar to the Soliana symbol? At first I thought that maybe it was just Solaris' way of spiting the people of Soliana. But once I started theorizing about the four-legged eagle, that's when it sort of dawned on me. What if Solaris' forms are actually reminiscent of the eagle? The first form being more figurative since it has the head of an eagle, then the second form being more symbolic since it looks like the symbol of Soliana. If this is true, then this would establish a sort of connection between the two. However, I cannot say this with 100% certainty. But what really interests me is something that's overlooked by many. Has anyone noticed that certain issues pertaining to Solaris were solved way too quickly? Think about the situation with both Mephilus and Iblis. The Scepter of Darkness' purpose was to seal Mephilus. However, that doesn't make sense. How can anyone know that Mephilus was going to appear when he never existed prior to the incident of the Solaris project? It's also the same with Iblis. Yes, there was a legend about Solaris' rage ruining the world, but we know now that the flames of disaster turned out to be Iblis. Who could have the amount of foresight to have accounted for this to occur? And the biggest mystery of all is the orb statues in the end of the world level. 
someone somehow knew that Solaris would go out of control and try to destroy the timelines. Thus, they set up the orb statues for when this event occurred. This leads me to believe that the events of Sonic 06 were set up from the start. And considering that the orb statues are powerful enough to temporarily cancel out the eyes of Solaris, the only person or thing that could set all this up would be the four-legged eagle, if I'm correct about it being a god. But the biggest question of all would be, why did this creature give Solaris to the Soliana royal family in the first place? Well, if we were to assume that this eagle creature knew about the series of events that would happen in the game, then one of the only logical explanations would be that it wanted to get rid of Solaris. And maybe that was Solaris's purpose all along. Remember, an out of control Solaris is a huge threat to the timelines since it only wants to destroy them. And maybe the events of 06 were the safest and only possible way of getting rid of such a threat, if we were to believe that this eagle creature had the ability to see through multiple timelines or something. Either way, the threat of Solaris was erased at the end of 06, thus fulfilling its purpose. If you enjoyed this theory, then please comment, rate, and sub for more. Thank you.